What's up guys? This is the Brokerman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to round off what happened last time, we have been continuing our actions against the Russians, and what we want to do is combine these troops here at Yelgava. Actually, some of these are actually in quite good condition. Start to migrate them over towards Riga. To be honest, this army might be actually ready to push on. Well, it depends. What state will you guys be in if I leave? Still happy. So, if, hmm, if I push, I will be exposed to the Russians here sailing around to hit Yelgava or to hit Riga. So I might be better off taking some of my larger units here, send them up to Riga to act as garrison, while this man, or this army, marches up towards St. Petersburg with an idea of taking St. Petersburg and trying to go for a temporary peace. So we do also have a lot of troops in the Americas to use. So we have a small contingent here at New Orleans who are probably going to push south, uh, west at some point and take Santa Fe, even though it's producing no money. Actually, the Pueblo Nations, who are they allied with? Protector of Dagestan. Okay, don't care. If they bring in their other... Well, I think I'll just call in Dagestan, so I don't have to worry about their alliances. And we also have a large force here in Savannah, who is going to be mobilised. Will they even go straight for Mexico? Deal a killing blow to the new Spanish Empire, possibly. Or, well, actually, here's my force that's going to march on. They've taken Cuba, they're going to march on and start to hit Antigua and Trinidad. And probably also take some of these French territories en route. These ships both go into Greenwich. Nearly 10,000 this turn. A few of our partners are going to be losing trade. I might put these guys into port just so I can repair whatever I can with my remaining cash. In terms of income, well, in terms of research, sorry, Cambridge, and Oxford needs upgrading. Cambridge is researching selective breeding. Oxford is researching wealth of nations, which is excellent. Let's hit end turn. I've also got another massive force up here at Falmouth. So if I move on the Pueblo nations, I might keep. So I'm assuming there's a chance that the Dagestanians... I mean, I'm sure it's just Dagestan I'll be at war with. Well, it will be. It will be. But I'm wondering how... So their alliances won't come into it. But I'm wondering if their protectorates will come into it. And if they do, great. Because then that force that I put at Falmouth will go further north and secure the uh, region of... Well, the, the, the regions of the Inuit nations on the northern tip of Canada. Uh, don't say the Ottoman Empire are going to be up to their tricks, or else they're going to have to start chopping parts again. If we do, it's no great problem. Although they are... There we go. So I... <laughs> Call it. I think I'm probably going to blockade one of my ports. So I might bring my army that's marching towards St. Petersburg back to destroy a small Russian force. Unless I can get more troops from the Vilnius garrison up. Because right now Vilnius isn't at threat. It's covered in most directions by friendly territory. The Barbary States feeling particularly bold, but I'm more than happy of them to feel bold because we are not at war. And the pirates are going to be the pirates and be devilishly annoying. So, 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 so. Hop back over to Europe. I have to spend a bunch of money upgrading my classical university because I don't want to be left behind on the tech side. So what have you got? Lots of troops. Excellent you service. you will definitely win in a battle against those My troops. So let's try and assassinate their general, Mr. Dmitry Supranaskaya. 
Executive action ah, no. initiated. Ooh, new uh, new ministers, although most of them are pretty good. So this force here, I mean, lots of my troops are actually fairly undeveloped. Although I think they won't have any. Hmm. Do I march you guys? Just do I just march these guys back and destroy them? Probably. I want to march them over here, ideally. We can't do that, sir. More orders. Because if they if they retreat, I want them to retreat this way. If I march down south here, they will fall back along this road, potentially putting Königsberg at risk. So let's go and destroy this force of Russian troops. Not quite the not quite the offensive I had in mind, and that my microphone just went really loud for some reason. Hmm, sorry about that. Um, but I don't know. Hmm. I wanted to push on hit St. Petersburg, but I'll take what I can get. Especially if it means I destroy another cluster of Russian troops. So, okay, there's the town. Okay, so let's deploy a pair of guns, a set of guns on each flank. Let's combine some of my infantry, or oh, a bit more than that, a bit more than that as well. That's quite a wide front. Maximum firepower right from the off. Let's get you guys unlimbered. My flanks are slightly unprotected, but I am going to help cover the left flank with some clansmen. Let's group them all together. My right flank here, although we do have a significant amount of cavalry. To mow down the Russian forces when they rout. There we go, that's that flank. Oh yeah, we do get we are getting reinforcements. Some of them in not a We've got some of the, gar the garrison at the town is coming in from one not great position. The artillery is firing. So these guns march up to this hill. I mean, my... Their artillery seems to be... Let's get that cavalry out on the flank. It's a very static formation I've got set up here, but it's... That's how it's going to be. Run these clansmen up to the other clansmen. Okay, let's push up my right flank. There goes the regiment of horse. Okay, let's keep round shot going. Let's start to pivot. Eh, do I need to pivot? No, I don't. Let's bring in those reinforcements in to form a new position on the flank. Get my cavalry on the move. Where's that other unit? It's a lot of troops. Okay, so to give my infantry on that flank a bit of support. Let's advance my line. Is that one cavalry unit to attack their general? Some infantry routing, switch to cast shot, hit the 20th. They're all charging in at close range, which might not be a good idea for them. Well, I mean, they're Russians, so they do get bonuses in the melee. Bye. 
those guys aren't hidden when they run, when they walk. Enemy general has been killed. Keep my cavalry on the move. Deploy this cavalry that currently doesn't have a job forward. Just chase down the Russians, push my infantry up. Let's keep get you guys over to round shot. Switch you guys over to round shot. You guys keep attacking the general. There we go. Now my cavalry is having an excellent time against the bulk of the Russian forces. So let's keep you on the move. There we go. Let's take you guys chase down that unit that's going to be routing in the wrong direction. Everyone else is routing. So let's run these guys up. You men also try to cut down. Actually, let's charge you guys into the 6th. Ah, pikemen, eh? You guys stay on the move. All my guns bombard the pikes. Push up and engage them in point blank range. New men swarm that Russian unit. It's probably going to cause me a few more casualties than I otherwise would need to take. bring you guys into over here they're going to cut the seventh down fairly easily there's a lot of men swarming the sixth regiment of foot which is just broken let's get you guys over here actually ready to hit the pikes when they break actually you guys got to the 20th. It's their infantry, that's what we want to kill most. I mean, these men won't be around for very long. Don't sir me. Engage the enemy. Oh, they've all fired. Continue chasing down the 46. There's a lot of men there we need to kill, but we've got to bear in mind there's only so many. Okay, good. You're over here. Let's bring you over. They've routed. Let's actually bring some infantry over towards the pikes. Try charge the cavalry, the pikes, just to see if that'll make them route. There they go. Hold fire with the guns. Damn right we're going to continue. Slaughter the pikemen. Let's make sure all our cavalry are busy. sure we kill as many of these units as we can. To be honest, might be better off if I just charge the 6th. Because if I charge them, well, there's a chance. Uh, it might be a good shout, really. I won't kill either of those units, but I'll need to micro it a bit. So as they charge into the 1st, they should get some kills on the 6th. I suppose doing this, they will route successfully, but I can try and do as much damage as possible to two units. Well, they have not done a huge amount. Let's 
you're having a great time charging your fellas down. Bring these men over as well. And let's speed up time. There we go. Good stuff. Just keep taking them out. There we go. Now that's the... Bring you guys over to try and hit the 5th Regiment. Okay, they've been killed. So let's bring my other cavalry over. Although you could well be enough. Ah, no, they split up. That's going to screw things up. Okay, they've got a clear line of sight. Straight to the enemy, straight to the enemy troops. So there's no risk of, or less risk at least, of fratricide and them charging through my own men. They will be very tired when they get over here, but ah, they escaped. But still, a decisive victory for us, and hopefully they are retreating in the correct direction. Oh, look at that! We lost 377 men. They lost nearly 3,300. Oh, that, that, that did destroy their force. So let's replenish my garrison here. These men. Okay, let's repair, re re replenish the Scots. You guys better stay where you are. Let's do some replenishment of you guys. Let's upgrade this probably to a church school. Because we need to start getting more Christian missionaries on the mainland. You men are replenishing. You can continue your drive towards St. Petersburg. You can also repair this farm. Probably build this new one. Do we upgrade this chapter school? Probably. We need to... Bearing in mind, Prussia will help spread, spreading Protestantism, but the Prussians and the Ottomans will... Not the, 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 the Russians and the Ottomans will attempt to stop us. New town emerges. That was in Courland. So you are a proper army that's ready to do stuff. But let's spend the rest of our cash on some replenishments wherever possible. And let's hit end turn. Right now we don't have the budget to persecute every offensive I would like to conduct. Ideally I'd like to have an army stationed in the Oh, that's not great. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they've just deployed to block my advance. Okay. Really, I need to build up a Baltic squadron. But... Mm, okay. So you t <laughs> That's the thing with, with having limited money, but almost countless ways to actually spend it. There are some areas you just... You can either spend... I suppose there's two rationales to it. You can either spend a bit of money everywhere... Or all of your money in one place and get it just get it done. Although I suppose I could build a fairly cheap navy to sit in the Baltic. As well as doing some economic upgrades in the Americas, because right now most of my areas just have... Or a good chunk of the areas in the south have basic roads and not very advanced economic buildings. That's right, Barbary States. Go back to where you came from, which is North Africa. Don't go near my sacred channel. And then pirates are going to pirate. See, this is why you always want to have ships sat in the docks, because even though they're blockading me and I'm not trading, at the very least I'm not losing... I'm not having to repair my ports all the time. Okay, Cuba's got a lot of upgrades as a Cherokee territory. Okay, so firstly, let's repair my entire fleet again. Portsmouth, let's get two fifth rates being built. Let's start to build up a Baltic squadron. What are these men equipped with? Mostly, it's a whole bunch of cavalry. Ready for order. Very well. I might keep Fire them left. ahead of... Riga act as a bit of a blocking force and I might also move up these troops to support them and I may as well recruit a general, Cameron Napier. 
Excellent. How much money would it take to replenish you guys? Two grand. That's immediately cut down a lot of my upgrade options in the in Europe. But in the Americas. Okay, you're getting next road next level roads. You can export via mobile. Low yield, mig yield. Low yield, mig yield. Average yield, mig yield. God, my plantations aren't doing so great. Could put a trapper post there. Or do I just blitz and build a bunch of farm upgrades? Farms don't produce a lot of money, but they do promote pop growth, which gets you more towns, which in the long run is where you make your money late game. So let's build some, build up my farming communities. And mine's quite a good quick win as well. Although it's only an extra 175. Let's do farms. Farms are cheap. Just one second, guys. The doorbells just rang. And I'm back. And it was not for me, sadly. Um, okay, so keep going with my farm building. Actually, that area has no mine on it at all. Plus 700, that's pretty good. I need to build a lot of roads. <laughs> a lot of roads. 220 is probably not, probably not enough to do a lot of things. So much so, my best bet is probably just to go to Savannah and then do another, like, replenishment dump, just to be like, okay, who can I actually build to do things. You are nearly ready. It's only that unit of infantry that can't do stuff, but let's actually take a fifth rate invincible. Get over Santiago de Cuba. Let's embark my men. Sail on to Antigua. Bring the war to the pirate's doorstep. I am going to fight that, but I just want to really quickly do this before I forget. There we go. No, don't get smart with me. Okay, cool. Let's go and attack and storm Antigua. I figure we've not got a huge amount of time left in this part, so I may as well do uh, this another action to weaken the pirates. And this army is probably going to be uh, sequestered in Antigua for a while because they are not going to be entirely happy with our uh, conquering of their territory. And the terrain is abysmal. Well, abysmal for the British way of war because we naturally want... I mean, in, I suppose in general, in total war, you want wide open plains. Pikes are going to push through the town. My infantry are going to swing around the right. Where's all my cavalry? There it is. To be honest, just storm them, storm them up. Same with my general. I might even actually send my cavalry directly into the enemy threat. As usual, they are going for my pikemen first. So we are going to defeat their their mortars in pretty short order so then my infantry position uh, their pathfinding is bumped into this garrison unit which is fine keep advancing keep all my guys moving up 
my pike's going to smash into their flank. Let's get my cavalry out of the way. I don't want them to be lost for, from some easy shots from their armed citizenry. Not when I have infantry to do the job. The cavalry's all going to go around the flank to go after this pirate mob here behind the wall. Go. My pike's going to go hit the gar hit the uh, pike's going to go hit the artillery. Ooh, so I lost a few guys there. Let's keep one cavalry unit pushing around the rear. Same with the general. It's a bit of a waste to send pikemen to go after a Morton unit. You guys push around. Sound bugs are at play. They've been destroyed. All my men, bayonet charge. Stop fire. Well, I mean, obviously, we've, we're charging down there. Pirate mob. Let's continue it just to get some kills. Earn my men some good experience. I mean, they're not... It's not great. Uh, whoa, you're doing yourself some friendly fire. They're not great, great units. So I'm not... Yeah, I'm not going to earn a load of experience from it. But it's got to help. And my cavalry isn't top tier, so it's not as if I'm earning experience points for crassiers or horse guards or whoever. I know there's units to the north, but they're all spread out, so I'm going to keep my cavalry as a massive block. Because massive blocks of cavalry seem to be much more effective at chasing down spread out infantry units. Again, this is entire Okay, they're going to escape, for sure. Well, they're not going to escape, because we get we've won. So, they are going to lose their capital. There we go. Awesome. So, is Antigua secured? Okay, we can't truly secure it, although we do have pro the Protestant religion helping. I mean, you know, we've got this big garrison then, we've got plus one, because our garrison forces are providing 20 repression and their resistance to foreign, to foreign occupation is 30. Okay, you guys still aren't doing anything, I need to get you guys a general, so let's hit and turn. My spies are continuing to advance, so the main thing is to see where that Russian army near St. Petersburg goes. And I also really need to see what kind of ships are making up there. Okay. <laughs> Lucky they didn't get straight to my city. Yes, 13 colonies protect my ports. So let's see. I should look at what ships the Russians are using to make the bulk, to create the bulk of their forces in the Baltic, because I'm not doing that at all. Because so then I at least I know if my fifth rates are actually suitable ships to send to the Baltic. Because for all I know, they may not be suitable. And I might be sending undergun ships. It's unlikely that I'm sending undergun ships. Especially early game, it's Russia, they've got lots of things to spend their money on. Okay. Let's upgrade my dry dock. I'm going to be reluctant to spend my money on a lot of things. So what are you... Sixth rate, sloop, and another sixth rate. Okay. So my... Let's build the Admiral's flagship. And another fifth. Actually, let's not do that. Let's wait until these guys are actually done. 
Uh, new town emerges, Swansea in England. Congratulations, you've got a craft workshop. So, yeah, this road reminded me what I want to do is, okay, don't build metal roads yet. Whoever doesn't have cobbled roads is getting it with no real priorities as to who gets it. Uh, let's see, Chikasa is the best place to, up, to spend money to upgrade my government building for only a thousand because it's already earning three thousand income largely due to the mining and the industry Benjamin child local contacts good he's doing a good job over there but what I need to do is take do, 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 this army here hit Pavel Chernitsky huge amount of cavalry so we're going to be deploying in lots of squares but, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the destruction of yet another Russian army in Eastern-ish Europe. Cheers everyone.